Hello, this is Rory with the Love Chat, and today's topic is... My ex reached out, then disappeared. Now, this is video number 125. If you have a question you'd like for me to consider featuring on the Love Chat, please write it in a comment below, and if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe and hit like. Also, if you'd like to do a Skype or email coaching, be sure to visit thelovechat.net slash coaching while the prices are discounted. Now then, my ex reached out and then disappeared. So there you are, minding your own business, improving your life, exercising every day, right? And eating all your vegetables, and of course, paying your taxes on time. And then you look down at your phone and boom, your ex reached out. And now your jaw hits the ground because you didn't think that this was ever going to happen. But there you are, looking at your phone, and you have a text from your ex, Hey, how's it going? Or something along those lines. And you get really excited. You run to YouTube and listen to your favorite coach, Rory. And then you decide to wait an hour or two before you answer that text. And so you do that. And then when you respond, you send three to five texts back and forth saying, hey, how's it going? I'm good. How's life? How's work, etc. Hey, it's great to hear from you. I'd love to see you. Let's get together for a coffee. And then nothing. They disappear. Or... You guys have been talking regularly. Perhaps it's been for a couple of weeks or a couple of days. And then they disappear. Or maybe you've even met up a couple of times. Hung out. Maybe hooked up. And then, yeah, they disappear. What the hell does this mean? It can be really confusing and jarring to have an ex reach out only to then disappear. And it causes you a lot of uncertainty and anxiety and what did I do wrong did I mess up did I do something wrong did I not follow the steps correctly do they want to get back with me will they reach out again this whole whirlwind of questions and thought and all of this uncertainty enters your mind when really it still has nothing to do with you but for those of you out there who are looking for some concrete reason as to why they've backed away or disappeared I'll give you a couple of examples of maybe maybe why it happened First and foremost, when they reach out, you have to understand that they're not completely certain of what they're doing. All they know is that they miss you, or they're curious about you, or they haven't heard from you, and they were expecting to, like we talked about last video. And they haven't gotten that feedback from you, or that validation from you. And so, out of their curiosity, or perhaps their anxiety, they reach out to you and wonder how you're doing. But perhaps they needed a little more time in the pot before they were ready to be asked out, or to have prolonged conversations or repeated contact. It could be many different things. And so in an effort to regain that little bit of freedom, they back away. Another reason is that it could be that they're playing a game with you and they want you to begin to chase them because they reached out for validation. And you didn't supply them with validation. All you did was ask them for coffee. Now, many of you think that that is chasing, but it's not because they need to know that an interest is still there. But... Once again, their inconsistency has you doubting yourself. And so what you want to ask yourself during this time is, is this a game I'm willing to play? If they reached out and I did little to nothing wrong, I didn't really chase, I didn't over pursue, I asked for coffee once or twice, they turned me down, I said no problem, if you change your mind, give me a call, very non-committal, and then they disappear. You want to ask yourself, are they in an emotionally stable area? where something could happen, or is me being involved with them at this time just going to cause me further suffering and pain? Look at all the healing I've done. Look at the fact that I was able to resist no contact, and I did not reach out to them. In fact, they reached out to me. That's a major victory for you. That's a major milestone you passed. They came to you. You didn't satiate their curiosity by reaching out to them. You didn't rob yourself of the chance to be reached out by them. And so I just want you to consider that if they reached out and then disappeared, it may be because they are not emotionally very ready to deal with the consequences of talking to you in a long-term way right now. They may want validation and they realize that they really weren't going to get much from you and then they back away. There may be somebody in the picture for them and perhaps for a couple of days, things weren't going so well, and they began to doubt that relationship, and so they reached out to you to see if the safety net was still there. 
There's no way to know. It's mind reading. We must assume that when they reach out, they want to see you, they want to hear from you, and we follow through on that plan because it works more often than it does not work. And while there are no guarantees because we can't mind read, I guarantee that it's going to feel good to hear from them because they reached out to you, you didn't reach out to them. And so that's what I want you to focus on. No matter what happens, even if they reach out and then disappear, this is still a victory for you because you were able to stay strong, you were able to focus on yourself, and you got a reach out. And that's what really counts at the end of the day. Will it lead to a reconciliation? No, not always. Sometimes, yes, it will. And in fact, several situations, if you guys take a look in the comments of hundreds of the videos I've posted, or just look at the people who show up to the live streams and they say all the time, hey, my ex reached out, we're going on a date, or hey, me and my ex just hooked up, or you know what, I actually kind of realized I don't need them anymore. It's just something to think about because it does happen, it's around us all the time, but in our anxiety, we only want to focus on the times where it didn't happen or it didn't turn out well for the other person. But frankly put, that's the vast minority. Though it's a simple concept, and I've said this in previous videos, I want to say it again because in our anxiety, we forget the basics, we forget the fundamentals. And so I'll leave you with this. If you want to attract more people, including your ex, work on being more attractive. You know how to do that, we've covered that before, and tomorrow's video will be dedicated towards how to focus truly on yourself. I did do a video on this before, but we're going to cover it again and go a bit more in-depth and give you guys some extra ideas. So, until tomorrow's video, that's all I had for today. If you found my video helpful, I'd be very grateful if you'd subscribe and hit like. Please leave a comment below and tell me what topics you want me to cover in the future. Additionally, if you'd like extra videos every week, private live streams with me, and free giveaways of my book upon release, just visit my Patreon, patreon.com slash thelovechat. And if you happen to like video games and Twitch, I do stream on that platform, and I will be streaming quite regularly starting Friday. Just visit twitch.tv slash Until next time.